Chris Nickich raced for 17 hours to cross this finish line, running straight into the history books. Up until a couple of years ago, we did everything we could to help him develop and be, be able to do more, but we never actually pushed him as far as we should have. And through his development as a triathlete, I started to see both his physical and cognitive ability improving at a dramatic rate. Forever we've been told that exercise beyond very basic playing is dangerous for our kids. I remember one of our occupational therapies saying to me, your son will never be able to jump. And that's one thing that really stuck in my head. How come he's not gonna be able to jump? Any kid can jump. I am a firm believer that exercise helps people with Down syndrome, but we need to continue to prove it. And the way we do that is with good research. My name is Dr. Dan Gord. My name is Henry Monka. My name is Mike Helmanen. I am an Associate Professor of Cardiorespiratory Physiology. Creative Lead for uh, Google in Canada. I'm the CEO here at Posit Science, and we make a brain training program called Brain HQ. So we were really excited when we heard from the Canadian Down Syndrome Society about this study. No group has ever asked the really simple and important question, which is, can physical activity benefit somebody's cognitive processing? We're going to recruit a population of about 200 individuals with Down syndrome. I'm going to use an app that allows us to record the distances covered, the speeds, the heart rates. Everybody's then going to also complete what we call a brain training test. It's one thing to go for a run, but then cross-referencing it with the brain patterns and seeing how those two things work in conjunction, that's a home run. It's almost like a new medication. But imagine now if the medication is simply doing a bit of exercise. And actually that medication enhances your ability to engage with society. If the Mindset app does show a strong correlation between exercise and cognitive ability, it definitely pushes us to want to push him more. As soon as he achieves something, he does. He looks at us like, I've got see, this, see? I can do like, it. What's next? We are here to prove that when our bodies get stronger, our minds get stronger too. Oh yeah. What's the missing part to all of this? It's you. Join us. Join us. Let's do this. Chris went from being an average kid with Down syndrome three years ago to an Iron Man, a public speaker, an author, and so much more at this point. It's amazing what exercise can do and how it can change your life. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs>